Hey guys, this is Tona, and today I wanted to do an announcement. Now, I was talking to Ciara about this and Laurie about this, and we're planning like a mega interview slash Q&A with myself and three of the members of the Boundless team who I've actually interviewed all three of them separately. So this is kind of like the crossover. This is the Avengers because uh, we're getting three of the big names from Boundless who are in charge of some of the most important stuff, in my opinion, um, and we're going to be interviewing all of them. But what do we need? We need your questions. As usual, I try and make this about the community and work with you guys from the community to kind of bring in your questions, make sure you guys get the answers and the questions that you want to ask to these guys. So, the three people we've got here, we've got Casey, uh, who is the senior missions develop d uh, designer. Uh, he's in charge. Actually, I think he's got promoted since this. He's now the mission slash narrative team lead. Um, he's in charge of like basically the whole storyline for Marvel, uh, Marvel Strike Force. Um, all of that kind of stuff, it, it, the, the missions, the PVE missions that are going into the game, the event campaigns, all of that kind of stuff. We've got Ciara, the combat producer, there in charge of getting all the characters into the game, going through deciding who the characters are on the different teams and everything, working together with uh, the other teams to kind of bring all the characters into the game and rework characters and all that kind of stuff. And then we've got Matt Sheets, who um, we usually have in the Envoy call as well in charge of like so much like he's basically in charge of like all of the character design and everything um in character balancing as well he works through that lots of different stuff into the game so these guys are like these guys are like the big guys at uh boundless so i'm incredibly excited and with the questions we can ask we can ask so many different questions from anything from the lore and story the pve the event campaigns raids scourges uh apocalypse and his horsemen dialogue and characters character development and production that's probably my favorite part is going through like how do they add characters into the game where does it start what kind of uh what do they initially look at when they're adding in characters all that kind of stuff the kits and designs the character balancing as well which is a huge one you guys ask about all the time is why are heroes for hire so freaking awful diverse that kind of stuff um We've got character reworks as well that we can talk about, like um, the Scarlet Witch one. I know that there, I know there's a few people out there asking, well, "Hey, why didn't Scarlet Witch get a proper rework or stuff?" And and nobody's actually added that into the questions yet. So um, if you have any questions to do with that, make sure you go into it. Working with Marvel and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of variety in the stuff that we can ask here. Like this is going to be a massive interview, uh, interview slash Q and A kind of thing between these three guys and myself. And as I said we want your questions now there's a few things that we aren't probably going to be asking or um not going to be kind of talking to them about the economy events and bugs and stuff like that um events like scourge event that's fine because like that's like events that they add into the game but like summer for thunder and stuff like that not really their kind of scope or anything so there's there's no point asking them questions that are outside of their scope and the other thing is that most of the time when you ask those kinds of questions it's like hey why haven't we got more training modules in the game yet and the answer is always oh yeah we'll talk to the team about that or yeah no we're looking into that or the team Teams monitoring that. You never really get answers with those questions. So I always find those kind of interviews um, interesting in some regards, but not like in regards to it actually really helping or finding a lot of kind of interesting details about the game and stuff. And honestly, I don't find them as fun. These kind of interviews to me are fun talking about things that they actually enjoy. Like any of these guys, whenever I interview them, they're all so passionate about the game and passionate about Marvel, passionate about the characters they're added in so i'm incredibly incredibly excited for this so make sure you head over to my discord and uh put any suggestions for questions that you guys have in there um i will look into the comments that you guys leave down below and i'll get some of them and chuck them in there as well uh we've got like this kind of upvoting system in it if i bring it up for you guys so you can see um here so if there's questions you guys want to ask you can upvote them if, if someone's already added in there if not then like you can add it in yourself it's pretty easy all you do is suggest why isn't gambit more universally viable because his speed sucks 
it, it's pretty simple and then that's going to come up in our questions so then people can upvote it or downvote it so yeah let me know down in the comments what you questions you guys have or head over to my discord the link to my discord is obviously always in the description but i'll put it down in the comments for you guys as well that's it for today have a great day and goodbye